Hello, I'm James the Light Guy, and to quote one of my favorite Canadian YouTubers, today we have a treat especial. Instead of looking at LED replacement headlight bulbs, we're going to take a look at an LED DRL. This LED DRL is a switchback style, which means it doubles as a turn signal. But it doesn't just do that, it has one more trick up its sleeve. It's a sequential turn signal. Each strip is made up of 16 of these segments. The segments can pop apart to round corners in your housing, or snap together to make a straight line. On the back of each of these, which are connected by a ribbon cable, we have a small microcontroller. That's important because it helps the system flow when the turn signals are active in a sequential, well, you know, you'll see when I turn them on. Let's activate the bench power supply. The jeweled segments help diffuse the light with a spectacular brilliance. Each strip comes with its own driver assembly. The driver has one main plug for the strip and three wires for your housing. The black wire goes to ground. The red wire goes to your DRL, and your yellow wire goes to your turn signal. Right now, I only have the red and black wires connected, but if I grab the yellow turn signal wire and connect it up to the power, this is when your turn signal activates. And after your turn signal turns off, it returns back to white. Each of those microcontrollers sets a time for how long the light should be on, in what order, allowing it to roll across. If you cut them short, the microcontroller notices the change in voltage across the whole strip and shortens the time so that you don't have it run across and then have the whole thing out for a while before it starts over again. As soon as it reaches one end, it loops back to start at the beginning. At 12 volts, we're running at 300 milliamps, 330, and if we ramp it up to 14, uh, we've gone up to 340 milliamps. These things don't need much in the way of cooling, they don't get very warm at all. I mean, they're day running lights. They're going to be on continuously for the most of their uh, their life. Let's hit the turn signals one more time. That's very pretty. They do linger an extra second. It takes the computer a little bit to realize that if you just tap the turn signal, you get about four flashes. These are going in my next headlight assembly build, and I look forward to showing you guys that along the way. But that's all I have time for today. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave them down below. If you like the video, consider liking or subscribing for more content. And in any case, I hope to see you in the next video.